the AI world is buzzing about this AI 2027 forecast that just came out. And it's a month by month roadmap from some pretty credible voices on how the next two years and beyond is going to go in AI. It's been authored by people who have a solid track record for predictions, leading thinkers in the space. And I thought I'd just take a minute to break it down here so you're on top of it. If you want to dive into it, just Google AI 2027. If you want to listen to the three hour podcast that two of the authors are recently on, Google Dwarkesh Podcast AI 2027. It's worth your time. So the core claim is bold. By the end of 2027, we'll reach artificial super intelligence, AI that can outperform the best humans in basically anything. Now, that might sound a bit far fetched because progress just doesn't seem fast enough right now. You'd think, oh, that's surely that's 20, 10 years away, something like that. But that's the whole point of this prediction. It's about how years of progress will start to happen in a week because of exponential rates of research, innovation, and therefore the capability of AI. And we're currently at the bottom of what is about to become a very steep and fast ramp up to this tipping point of the intelligence explosion, artificial super intelligence. And the thing that struck me, if you look at this graphic that moves as you scroll through the article, you can see AI is better at coding than anything else. And it gets better and better very quickly at coding. And this isn't about it being able to code up a website quicker. This is about it being able to work on and improve itself, to work on its own code, run its own experiments, improve its own algorithms, improve the efficiency of how it scales, how it works, how it runs on the hardware, all of that. It will be able to work it all out much faster than any humans can. But the timeline for the next two years goes something like this. 2025, the spotlight is on AI agents, which it currently is. There's a lot of hype around that. And I would, if I were you, go and play with some. Go and sign up for Manus.ai. Go and try Convergence. You don't need an invite code for that. You can use it straight away. Maybe you've got access to ChatGPT Operator. Just have a play with them and understand where they're currently at and stay on top of that. Because the prediction is that by the end of 2025, they'll go from their current form of fairly useless, a bit cumbersome, they just fumble around the internet, to starting to enter the zone of usefulness, where they'll be able to take on certain tasks pretty reliably for. Then in 2026, AI starts seriously helping to build better AI, that self-improvement. So progress will really start to accelerate behind the scenes. And as a consumer, we'll just see more releases in the AI and in the tech space in general. And then by 2027, the top performing systems could be outperforming all human researchers, not just at coding, but now being able to solve major problems in science and maths. And again, that might be a bit behind the scenes for you, but those breakthroughs will start spilling over into things like medicine, maybe agriculture and commerce and weather predictions and better software apps. Who knows? But I'm sure we're just going to see a lot of headlines over the next couple of years of things being achieved that could only be done because of AI. And then there's the doomy bit at the end. It's a bit scary, but you can basically choose which scenario post 2027 you want to see play out. If we get locked in an AI arms race with maybe China and no one agrees to slow down, we accelerate towards misaligned AI. In other words, AI whose goals are not aligned with ours. And in fact, it wants to run its own world, its own universe without any impediment. And if we get in the way, which we certainly will, then we're dead. Not nice. And then there's the more optimistic scenario where we do put the brakes on and no one openly or secretly, and that's important, continues development. And we get all the benefits of longer, healthier, more productive lives. But who knows? Part of the purpose of this forecast is to shine light on that risk and to warn about that fork in the road that may be coming in the next two or three years. Now, not everyone agrees with that. A lot of people are very skeptical about it. There's a lot of critics. A lot of people say that it's doom mongering. A lot of people question the credibility of the whole thing, just to be clear. There are a range of opinions about it from alarm through to excitement, through to mockery and skepticism. But whether it's right or wrong, what's for certain is that this is exactly the kind of thing that you should be reading and engaging with and just being on top of as we head into this next few years. And in terms of your work, if there's parts of your job that a decent AI agent could realistically do, then make sure you're leaning away from that and into the parts of your job and those uniquely human skills that you don't think an AI agent would be able to do.